What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie, and be sure to check us out on the web at realfansrealtalk.com. The GM of the Nets Elite team, because we know that's something that's really taken off over the last few years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, 2014, 2015, they just added the, the My Players uh, part mode to the, to the game. Um, I was into 2K, you know, I'm, I'm in my early 40s, so it was like I've been playing 2K when they didn't even have no numbers behind it. So um, when they added that mode, it intrigued me because I always liked playing the, the career mode. So now, you you know, I like playing as NBA players, but I thought it would be dope if you could play as yourself. So they put that mode into the game. Uh, the rec center came along with it. And at that point, I was I was playing it. And I was hearing about different leagues that you could play in. Like, people were forming teams and playing organized. Uh, so I, I searched the blogs, uh, different gaming uh, channels and stuff like that. And I finally found a league uh, that I could play in. Um, you know, fast forward, I, I started playing in the other leagues. And uh, the first league I played in was the ABL. Then the second league I got into was the SBA. And... Um, I really want to give a shout out to Dietrich Glover because he he was one of the first pioneers that to start the, the organized league uh, setting, um, and we pretty much uh, rolled the wave after that and just took it to another level. My my partner LT was playing in the SBA. Um, one day we were sitting and talking, and he was like, uh, "Kurt, I think I can do a league better than all the other leagues." And I was like, "You know." bet let's do it he was i was like what you want to call it he was like the mpba i said what does that stand for he said the my player basketball association i'm like all right cool um so right towards uh the middle of 2015 we started and uh just fast forward into 2016 uh it was the number one uh amateur league circuit in the world um pretty yeah. much if you if you played at that mode uh, from 2015, you know, all the way up until 2018, we knew who you were. You knew who we were uh, all the way from here to Europe. Like, I mean, a lot of people uh, was playing um, in all spectacles of the, of the country and in the world. So uh, 2017, when they announced that they was going to have a 2K league, 80% of the players who got drafted in that first season all came out of the NPBA. And, what, was, uh, that, what was your ranking at that time? Uh, when you say ranking, what, what do you mean? As far as on um, 2K, you know, uh, like the um, record wise, like because you know, that on, oh, on the leaderboard, you talking about the leaderboard, yeah, the, the leaderboard, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know, this is the funny part. Like, after I started working and, and running and operating the league, I played, but I didn't play as much. I, I took you okay. know, the other route. I got on the other side of, you know, more of a ministry. The business route. And, 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 yeah, and uh, I, I saw a longer game and, and a better game with that, so um, and, and I never, to be I, like, my I played good and I was on good teams, but we never was at the, the top tier. But most of those top tier guys was the ones that was getting drafted and dominating in our league, so okay. it, it kind of made sense after a while. Um, but that pretty much caught the attention of the 2K League. Um, Players, as soon as they got drafted, they were shouting us out during the draft. Like, it, it was dope. And uh, me and LT, we got picked up the first season uh, with Bus GG. Uh, I actually, uh, just past uh, Friday, I did a flashback. And um, I posted a picture on Instagram where basically it was season one and uh, we was hanging out after the fact. And we basically were just sitting there just in awe of what happened. Um, you know, a journey that we started on that we never even knew that it was going to take us this far. And uh, to be sitting in that moment, and you know, that was two years ago. And now um, I'm where GM and coach for the Brooklyn Nets gaming crew, and LT is the general manager and coach for Dallas Mavs GG, uh, which is the affiliate okay. team of the Dallas Mavs. So, you got I mean, a little rivalry? Um, he got, <laughs> he, 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 he got me last year. He got me. We was up, uh, it was a close game up into the third. And uh, they broke away in the fourth, but uh, it's it's definitely uh, I don't know. I get excited every time I talk, talk about it because you know how you you just start doing something out of passion and love for yeah. it, and then boom, here it is. You know, you're at a high level. Oh, this is your African King's coming, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends real talk? Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk.
dope, we as real as you thought.